Hi, Pep. Um, in what ways was Raheem, um, in what ways did he help your success here? Was it just on the pitch or were there other, other factors around the squad as well? How did he, what part did he play in, in, in the trophies here? Uh, unbelievable. <laughs> In the, when he was there, especially the first seasons, we could not think about it, what we achieved without him. So, it was an incredibly important play for us. Really one. Did you see a lot of improvement? From, from when he signed, uh, when you got here, did you, did you see a lot of improvement through the years? Through him he has to talk about that. But his contribution was massive. Really important. Uh, his speed, his... <laughs> His continued movements was a really important player. Uh, Pep, just a quick one about Erling. There was a story in Norway that he's had a bereavement, a family family bereavement, his grandma. Is he having to go home at all? Or He's here. Yeah. Next week, will he, will he maybe go? Or? Uh, I don't know, but I don't have info, but uh, I don't know. But he's, he's OK. He was obviously all right to play on, on Wednesday. Of course, he's sad, but... <laughs> yeah, he, he played really well in Copenhagen and... Yeah. Hi, Pep. Um, Gary Neville said that he didn't watch your team on Tuesday because he felt bored and sort of is asking whether you're boring and unwatchable because you're so good. Um, is it frustrating that you're trying your best to be so good? And No, thank you for the compliment. The what can I say? It's fine, so what can I say? So if... Everything is so difficult in football, so difficult. We have to do many things to, to try to win games, and games during many, many years. So it's what this group of players have done for many years and this season as well is admirable. So it heads off to my players. So it's just unbelievable when the consistent and the way, <coughs> you know, take seriously our opponents, how good they are. And I had the same opinion before I played Copenhagen. It's a really incredible, difficult to attack, really one. If you are not perfect in many, many things or really, really good in many, many aspects of the game, we cannot achieve what we didn't achieve the last Thursday. And still we have a game to play here and we take seriously. So this is only I can say to my players. So hopefully we can continue in that, in that way. Do you think you get enough credit for all that work that goes in. Of course, we have your credit. We are admired, so I'm pretty sure of that. So the people in the world football know how difficult it is. Being six, seven years there and there again, one week, another one, and all competitions and the trying. I'm going to tell you something in the future you will not forget. It looks easy, but it's not. You remember that sentence. It's easy, but it's not. Hi, Pep. Hello. Uh, just going back to Jack, it's two days since the game. You say you're not too sure beyond tomorrow. Is that because you still haven't been out to do the scans you need? Does that no, suggest no, no. he's serious? He's injured. He's injured, but I don't know. I know Mika scan has a problem in a, a muscular issue, but I know that how big is damage So in the day, so I don't know. Sorry, you say you don't know how big the damage is? I didn't, hear, I didn't hear that. Did you say you don't know how big the no, damage is? No, I don't know. I don't know yet. But is that, is that normal two days on? I mean, usually you have tests and you can ascertain No, we that. did it when we arrived the day after. We could not do it, the doctor said to me, because the machine was broken. So that's why it was played one more day. It was yesterday. But it was my day off, and I was so concerned about Chelsea, and I didn't speak with the doctor. So I still didn't see it this morning. So now when I arrive back from this lovely press conference, I will ask him. May I just ask, when he went back on during the game, he went back on, didn't he, Jack? Yeah. Was that because you needed the numbers at the time just to sort of defend, or was that him insisting, or...? About what, sorry? Yeah, why, why did he go back on, basically? Back on? Yeah, during the game, why did he...? Oh, yeah, because you want to play. We had to, uh, at the end, I said, if you feel something muscular, if you play, the damage will be bigger. Right. And at the end, it's, it's no sense, you know? It's a knock or something like that, you can... OK, you can continue, but it's... Muscle have to sprint, have to run. You cannot do it. There's no sense to. I know he wanna, but uh, we, we took a right decision. But thank you for sure. Rob, that please. Hi, but um, 
you said before that one of the biggest reasons for your success here is that the club have given you some great players. Um, but Chelsea have spent a billion pounds on players and, and are still 10th in the league. Does that possibly show that there's more at play here, that there's the reason behind your success is, is more than simply just giving you good players? You understand, I will not talk about one second about Chelsea, for respect of them. I don't know the situation. <coughs> oh, sorry, yeah. I'm just going back to Cole Palmer, um, obviously a very, very talented player, and you gave him uh, some games as well. How difficult a decision was it for you to let him go, or was it just purely because he wanted game time? For a young players, always we want to stay, but it's normal. So after two, three seasons, he won more minutes than uh, he got last season. You know, and, and I understand completely. So when a player is like... Uh, he get that minutes that I give. I didn't give it to him for, for the reasons that everybody knows. It's just for the other players. But we know the quality that uh, he has and the impact has shown so far this season is, is enormous. So it's not just goals as is. It's the quality and uh, we we knew it. So, and um, it's an incredible threat for for Chelsea. Oh yeah, Pope. Just going back to what um, Simon was talking about before, do you not th do you think that you won't be fully appreciated this team until it's all finished and everyone? I don't think so. I don't think so. The the opponents respect us, and so always, always I said the same. So sometimes the people is not enough we're doing and I know how difficult it is I know it from my experience as a football player when I was manager in the other clubs and here so show that consistency and after win the travel still we are there and 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 see how we fall for each other and our backwards and our many things one one two and continue before the one three we had two or three chances to score one three a mentality to have to go and go and go so and at the end if <coughs> it depends on us no how satisfied we know that that is what belongs to us so if if the people don't appreciate it the one it doesn't matter so it's not a big big problem and I think they appreciate it honestly the world football I think they know how difficult it is we're doing but still we are here when I continue to but the important is to feel that Still, you know, we for ourselves necessarily also the compliment for the outside or, or regrets from outside to be happy or unhappy. So I think we are happy with what we have done these years and still we are we are doing, knowing that will be extremely difficult um, <coughs> start for for tomorrow. Last one, my friend, please go. Hi, Pep. Uh, going back on Palmer, um, obviously it's difficult for kids in this club with such a high quality first team to, to come and have minutes and etc. Do cases like Palma and Sancho show how patient Phil Foden was to have no. to be on the stage he is now? It's not about that. Phil Foden has more minutes than Cole Palma and Jadon Sancho. If Cole Palma would have the minutes for my gift to Phil from the beginning, Cole Palma would be here. But I didn't give it to him. It's my responsibility. Why? It was Bernardo, it was Riyadh, it was, I don't know, Phil. It was in that moment I choose for the other one. The rival moment, like, after one season is nice, second season, but the third season, oh, guys, I want to play. I don't want to sit the bench. It is normal. And we understand as a club, he got a good offer, an incredible top club at Chelsea, and, and I'm really happy for him. So, you know, so the, in all the clubs happen, these kind of things. But it's not about because one situation is different and not the other one. Thank you, guys. Okay, thank you.